Rally Sweden, the only true winter round of the WRC, is characterised by its frozen roads, snowbanks and Collins Crest. Every year, fans of all ages make the trek into the Swedish forest, ready for an all-day party and one of the biggest jumps in World Rally. Collins Crest is a, a special place in Rally Sweden. It's become iconic over the years. Tens of thousands of spectators flock there to watch the action. We come for the party and the, the great crowd. It's, it's good for the fans, it's good for the show. If you're going there with a, either a comfortable lead, you'll not be pushing too much. If you're chasing, for sure, you might want to try that extra little bit. If you try to make a big jump, you can, you can many set, but you have to be very precise your line. That's why I've always been taking a bit more calm on this place. Named after Flying Scott and 1995 world champion Colin McRae, the jump has become a pilgrimage for all rally fans. It's such a festival. It's a great feeling here. One of the best parties in the rally Sweden, yeah. Even when you, you arrive to 200 metres beforehand, you're looking at it, you can see the gantry, you can see uh, the, the smoke from the bumper and the barbecues, and uh, you can almost smell the sausage cooking there when you get to the top of the crest. On the straight, when you have 150 metres before you approach to the jump, you can get the feeling that there's a lot of people and great atmosphere. So it's kind of a place that in the rally, it's already like you start to feel the goosebumps bit on yourself. From the early hours of the morning, the crowd gets into the party spirit with plenty of food and drink, fun and games, as well as lively discussion about who will jump further. I hope second place, uh, Chris Meek. Or Terry Neville. Second place. Or Latvala on the first place. Yeah. That's very, very good. Mads Osberg won the award for longest jump, and although his Fiesta landed just short of the record, flying a WRC car 44 metres takes nerves of steel. It's an incredible spot and obviously such a famous spot by now as well. Coming up to it you don't see a lot, only uh, the sky and the trees through the, the banner normally. And you just have to point the car in the direction you want to land and, uh, and hope for the best. Basically if you approach it you have the uh, straight road, you have a jump, then the road turns immediately left, immediately right. You have to take your line from the right, heading to the left, but the car needs to be straight and heading to the left over the jump and then you have a big snow bank on both sides of the road, so you have to just jump straight through the left into the right. It's a tricky one because, you know, just after we land, there's, a, there's quite a, I won't say slow, but there's a medium speed right corner that you need to break quite quickly for when you land. So, yeah, you want to fly, you want to do a, put on a, a good show, but at the end of the day, you don't want to stuff it in the snow bank uh, for, for no reason. We all enjoy it. We all get a little bit nervous on the approach and then we, we enjoy the, the flight time when we get to the top, so it's a nice place. There we go, it's after wishlist Collins Best. Pick. Absolutely superb.